Good afternoon guys from Busan in Korea. It's our last day today, we're leaving. We're at the port now and we're about to catch a ferry to Japan. We have booked business class seats on this ferry. I'm looking forward to it, I think it's gonna be really good fun. Bobby, are you ready? I am so ready, let's go. Yeah? Yeah. It's been a big dream of ours to go to Japan for many, many, many years. So it's a bit pretty exciting day for us. Um, we're gonna take you in now, take you into the to the departure area and we don't know what to expect so we'll take you along with us right so first things first guys here is the queen beetle that's the name of the ferry we're catching so let's go over there and check in thank you for waiting thank you so this much that's great and this is your ticket Better time 3 p.m. going to Fukuoka. This is your SIM number. Okay. And when okay. you enter the business class, you have to scan this QR code, so please keep the ticket. Okay. And the security check start 1.30, close to 20. Okay. okay. Just go straight, there's only one gate. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, guys, that was pretty straightforward. A little bit, uh, took about five minutes, but that was all good. Um, so yeah, we've got our seats now. We're in. 5A, 5B, got window seats. Should be good. I think security's open. Uh, let's head on over, shall we? Should we do the tax refund first? I think it's in the same place. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw like a map and it said that it's sort of in that direction. Um, so let's have a look. Right, guys, we just got through security. Here's Bobby. All good? Uh, they, let you, they let you out? Yeah, they didn't want to. No? I said I have to, be to, I have to go to Japan, guys, sorry. Them's the brakes. Right, we're through now. Uh, we're going to be chilling here for a bit. It leaves at three o'clock. What time is it now? Probably, oh, there we go, quarter to two. So we've got an hour and 15 minutes to chill here. Um, get rid of the last of our one before we head over to Japan. Right, guys, so uh, it is now 2.25. The boat sets off at three o'clock. Apparently boarding has just started. Now, generally, I would wait to be the very last person to get on because there is a queue. However, it seems to be moving at like super fast speed yeah it's not even a queue really i mean people are just constantly moving so we will join the queue there she is all right guys we've got our first kanichiwa <laughs> it's official it's official we just leave it here anyway. Yeah. You said how many that did you? I said. Did you say arigato? I did, yeah. Very excited. Very, very excited if you can't already tell guys. <laughs> okay. Huh? Ah. The QR code for uh, ah, okay. The ah. Okay, can't see. Keep forgetting. Okay, so these are business class. We went for the other ones. We might ask to change now. We'll see. Yeah. So this is one type of seat, guys. These ones actually look really fresh. Look very modern. Mm. And then we went for some window seats. Oh, Bobby has to stop it. She can't stop speaking Korean. She said, I'm going to to me. Oh, did she? Uh, right, this is us. So yeah, what do you think? Hey, the other ones look nicer, don't they? But um, it's okay for now. I'm happy with this one yeah? for now. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm happy too. But I think... Um, so these ones have got apparently more legroom. Yes. But let's just go and have a quick look because I don't think it really matters because these ones back here have got enough legroom. So yeah, oh yeah, they have got a bit more, but there's still enough there anyway. Mm. So I don't think it really matters. Okay. Do um, you think these are more comfortable? Uh, they look a bit more comfortable, don't they? Yeah. Then well, let's have a look. I think there isn't, it isn't going to be a full boat anyway. So let's sit here for now. Yeah. And then maybe we can go and try one out in a bit. Okay, we're here. We're here. Here we are, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And so it starts. <laughs> we just got given this. She said it was a cookie. Announcement. Coffee and soft drinks are available. 
enjoy. Coffees and soft drinks are available, please enjoy. Ah, so I think complimentary drinks. Oh. I've just been given this. Let's have a little look, guys. See what it is. Oh. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's not just one cookie. It's a box of cookies each. Wow. Look at this. So, we've got, uh, that looks like oat cookie. It says ops. Oh, no, it's nuts, isn't it? Okay, and then we've got a Louis Son Chapeau. Oh, wow. That looks like it's got a bit of lamination. <laughs> Little heart-shaped cookie. Broken, broken heart. Sad times. Chocolate. Oh, so Ops is the company, so that's Greek nuts. So what's this? This is an original cookie. <sighs> well, I am a little bit peckish, guys. Where should we start from? I don't know, what do you think? The laminated one. Go on then. I've just cracked mine open as well. Oh, oh wow. It smells really good. It's basically like pastry, isn't it? This one's really buttery. Let me get mine and we'll do a dink and sink situation. Cool. Right, that's it, guys. Dink it. Dink it. Sink it. That's so interesting. I feel like it's not super fresh. Bobby's complaining the cookies aren't fresh enough. What do you think? I think it's delicious. I mean, they are pre-packaged. Don't know what she was expecting. She wanted them to be like freshly baked out of the oven. That would have been nice. So this is super interesting, guys. It's actually a cookie. And then around the edge, it is like, um, it's actually a short crust pastry. Yeah, so a biscuit on top of short crust pastry. I've never had that before. Mm. What a great start to the journey. Let's see how this works. First things first, got a little handle here. I don't want to like push an emergency thing. Oh, okay, so press the handle and that allows me to lie back. And I've got a hand on the other side, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, and if you hold that one down, Okay, so it's not flat bed here. It's like, I think that's as much as it goes. You get like, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah. It's not flat bed. No. Um, I wonder if the other ones are. I'm gonna check them out in a bit. Mm. Still, it's nice enough. It's actually a bit of a weird position to be honest. I'd probably, it's weird that it doesn't go flat bed because it's big enough. Yeah. No, there's enough room, but it doesn't. But yeah, for now, I think it's a bit more comfortable actually sitting up. I don't know what this is. Is that for a coffee or something? I think so, yeah. Yeah, maybe a drink drink holder in there. It's really far in front of you. It's a bit strange. And then, yeah, just your, your uh, information, your documents there, all of that stuff. And that's about it really, guys. We've got this. I don't know what this is. Oh, lights. Lights have just come on. There we go just down there um, the tray table is that it I think that is your tray table it doesn't move by the looks of it it's literally just like that it's a bit weird it is very unusual yeah. isn't it like just big enough to put your hand on a drink and that's it okay interesting guys so yeah as I said I'm gonna go and check out the other seats in a bit and um, see what we think about I'm happy to sit here regardless but if we think the other ones are better at least we can tell you guys and if you book the same ferry you will know what to pick when it's your turn so bobby's just found something guys down the side what have we got there bobby I've got some flip-flops yeah and uh, i think it's a l'occitane hand cream oh it looks like there's a sleep mask oh. l'occitane oh that's like a posh company isn't it yeah yeah do you want to crack it open yes okay where's mine there Ah, I thought I was getting shafted then, I thought they, had, they, they hadn't given me the hand cream because my hands were already beautiful enough, but... Oh, oh yeah, so literally just like um, a sleepy mask yep. and some cream. That's some high-grade cream. Yeah, lovely. 
that's got to be worth about two quid. So uh, we're, we're trying to t get the money back for the tickets. <laughs> How much did we pay exactly? Do you remember? Um, if not, no. we'll check. Right, we'll check and we'll put it up on screen in a bit. Right, guys, so it's about five minutes to three at the moment. Um, so we should be, I was about to say taking off, but I guess it's like docking. Docking off. Docking? I think it's docking. Just docking. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Docking is when you go in. What's it called, guys? I should know this. Um, grew up around boats, but we found this. It's business class only. Free vending machine. <laughs> so, what do you want, Bobby? I might get oh, for an ice cocoa. Oh, I was going to do the same. I might get a hot one or an ice one. So, what have we got? We've got iced tea, cocoa. It's, co it's co <laughs> You just made me say it weird. It's cocoa. <laughs> Even though it's got an A on the end. Um, there's lemonade, no lemonade, no lemonade, no life. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, hot ice cocoa. So let's see what happens. That's Bobby's selection. Please adjust your flavour. Please select your drink. Oh, we didn't adjust the flavour. Right, we've got a timer there. So what were we supposed to do? We were supposed to maybe change this? I don't really understand. Maybe how intense you want it? Maybe. Oh, do you think these were two intensity levels? Maybe. Well, I chose the left one. Oh yeah, look, no sugar and sugar. Um. Ah, so it might be no sugar and sugar. If that's the case, Bobby definitely would have chosen the no sugar option anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you think it's tea milk? Oh, it does look like a milk tea. Yeah. Oh no, it says coffee milk. It's got coffee beans there. Oh, no, okay. it's going to be like a cappuccino. Oh, um. hello. Oh, did the door just open? Yeah. Go on then. Look at that. Oh, tried to show you. Look at that. Go I'm gonna open it so yeah. I can show you inside. Open it up and also I'm gonna get a free taste and then if it's good I'll order the same. Okay. A lot of ice. Delicious. It's not too sweet. Yeah, it's not very sweet at all. I think I'm gonna go for something different though guys. It's not bad. I go for a hot one. I would love a milk tea. Come on, coffee machine, make me a milk tea. Don't think there is any milk tea knocking about. Right, I think we're gonna go for, oh, they have like hot lemon tea. Um, ice lemon tea, green tea, lemonade. I'm gonna go for a hot cocoa. That sounds nice. And I'm gonna go less sugar. So, here we go, it's having a think, about 33 seconds. And Bobby has told me, outside, um, there is another vending machine. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't want to get your hopes up. But once we've, once we've got this, we'll go outside for a little walk. Might go for... I'm already thinking about the next drink I want after this one. <laughs> I'm going to go for an iced tea a bit later. I might have a coffee after lunch. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Thank you so much. How hot is it? Oh my god, it's really, really hot. Actually, a bit too hot, guys. That's a bit of a uh, bit of an issue. As I'll hold it for you. It's really hot. That's just going to burn my face off. Yeah, I just need to wait for it a bit, Henrik. I think I need to go and take this back to my seat, guys. I'll be back in a sec. All right. I'm utilising my uh, little table. Got it back to my seat. so hot really good though I mean it's nothing special it's just like hot chocolate a cheap and <laughs> quite a cheap hot chocolate but I like that it's quite nostalgic for me right guys so it is now three o'clock on the dot we haven't uh, left port yet but I'm not complaining got my cookies got my hot chocolate Mmm, that's good, yeah? We're moving, guys. Bye bye, Korea. See you next time.
Oh wow, they've just opened up the front door. Didn't know that was going to happen. She said we're allowed out. Oh wow. Hold on to my heart. almost forgot guys the other vending machine that we said we were going to take you to have i got my boarding pass i got mine yeah got mine you need your boarding pass because when you go out of this door here you've got to scan your boarding pass to get back in it's just to keep the peasants out i'm sure you understand <laughs> bobby understands um there's a little shop here guys as well right and straight away i've seen this it's like is that sausage sausage and rice flavored pringles yes please i mean i'm sure we're going to find lots of stuff um but yeah sausage and rice flavored pringles caviar mask Ooh. as in cell bright ageless life yeah that is literally putting fish eggs on your face I don't, I don't even particularly like putting them in my mouth to be honest I've only eaten caviar once in my life and it was okay but like I don't get it I don't get the whole hype around it and I don't like the cods row the bubbles when they pop it's just a bit oh oh hello this is 200 yen though yeah oh so it's not free Bobby she thought it was free it looks good though but I think we might get an ice cream in the yeah, you get two soft serve per person for free. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I do actually really want to try this as well, guys. But we are gonna like. The thing is, we don't we don't have yen actually. So. Oh yeah, we're yenless. Hmm. But look at this. That one looks really cool. I like the cup shape. This one, it's got a bit of red bean in there. Oh, that one looks really good. Oh, I'm so excited about Japan, guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's head back, yeah? Yeah. I think at half three, they start doing food. That's in 10 minutes. Not long to wait. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, so uh, as we were saying, here's your little scanner. Oh, I can't find mine, Bobby. That means I'm not allowed in. Right, let's open it. There we go. All right, Bobby's allowed in. You're not. I am. I've got mine. Don't need to scan it, I don't think. How's the toilet? Oh, yeah, toilet's over there. Yeah, so these other chairs, once you lean back, they are really private, so they do look really nice. I don't think there's any problem with me sitting on one. Um, in fact, I might take you around the corner and show you one now, actually. So yeah, here is the other style of chair. They definitely look a bit more modern. Let's see what happens when I... So, okay, so for a start, what is going on here? Okay, so for a start, your table is a... Sorry guys, wrong way around. So for a start, check this out. You've got a proper table in front of you. We don't have that. So that's quite nice, especially if you've got like a laptop or something. Um, now, the legroom isn't as big, but the legroom on the other seats is a little bit pointless because it's so big that like, unless you're, I'm not even joking, like seven foot, it's really not necessary mm. like if you're uh, six foot plus if you're six foot three six foot four I think this would be fine maybe you'd want to go for the other ones if you're that tall but if you're like six one six two you're fine I'm five eleven don't say anything Bobby she thinks I lie about being five eleven but obviously people would round up to six foot so I don't lie um, but yeah you've got like a little foot rest bit down there and then I don't know how this works oh so we've got USB charger I can't find how we do oh oh here oh we're electric something's going on electric oh yeah you see so this is like the modern version basically they changed the old ones out with the old in with the new and that's definitely leaning back more so that's maximum so it's not flatbed as you can see Bobby maybe if you show them it'd be easier for them to see how I'm laying right now yeah, yeah. 
but it's not a flat bed. No, it's but not completely flat. It's much more comfortable than the other one. Really? It's laid back, yeah. So that's like much more like you could sleep here, like much more comfortably than the other ones. To be honest with you guys, I'm thinking these ones are better. When you lay back as well, like the plastic bit here stays fixed. So if you go outside, you can see that it's like quite quiet. <laughs> Henry. Henry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely saying these. Maybe, maybe we can ask them if we can move. I think it's fine. I don't think it stops anywhere, does it? No. No, if it doesn't stop anywhere, I think it's fine. Um, we've got carbon fibre here as well. So, carbon fibre swings it for me. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really nice. They're, 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 they're both good, but this is definitely, I would say, the more modern version. Cool. So this is not just like a normal boat, it's a hydrofoil. Yeah. So it's really fast. Um, we're gonna do about 240 kilometers in three and a half hours, yeah. which is quite fast. Right guys, it's a little bit rocky, as you can see by Bobby trying to walk. Um, but the food bit's open now. And nothing calms the stomach like ice cream. Look. Do you want ice cream? Mm-hmm. Can we have ice cream? So we've got draft beer, highball, coffee, ice cream. And you can have milk or limited flavour. Or you can do mix. Mm -hmm. What's limited flavour? Mango. Oh. I'm gonna go for a mix. Uh, two mix? And do you want a drink? Uh, what about you? I'm gonna have a highball. Okay. Two highball. Two highball. Yeah. We've got other things here as well, guys. You can get like pizza there, fried chicken. Quite a lot to choose from. Oh, the eyeballs are on tap. Okay. Arigato. So yeah, other options, guys. Um, as I was saying, you, you, there are other options. You can get uh, pizza, fried chicken, potacara. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a mix of fried stuff. It looks like there's some wedges in there and some edamame. And then there's bolognese for Roberta. Can't wait. This looks good. Kimuchi. Chijimi, Korean pancake. Ah, uh, Oh. Okay. Uh, arigato. Arigato. Okay. <laughs> Bobby's trying not to spill highballs all over the place. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. That's rough. More than the same. That's got no sugar in it whatsoever. That's basically whiskey and soap. That's whiskey and water. Basically, yeah. Oh, very spicy. Look at this. So we had two flavors. They had milk, mango, or you can get a mix. Obviously went for the old mix. Mmm. Is it nice? Oh, wow. Yeah, I tasted them together. Mmm. Really, really good. Like that's some high-grade mango soft serve. It's not cheap. You can taste it. It's like it tastes expensive. It tastes good quality. Hmm. And the milk's really good as well. I mean, they call it milk. I would call it vanilla flavor, but it's nice, isn't it? Mm. Like really good quality. And the biscuit is amazing. Can I have your biscuit? No chance. Aww. If I paid for that, I'd be really happy. Mm. That's nice and crunchy as well. No old biscuits here. <laughs> right guys, I'm a little bit tired. I'm gonna get a little bit of shut eye with my uh, face mask. But for now, I'm gonna pass you over for a little bit of bobby cam. Bobby cam activated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you on a tour of the bathroom. So I think it's down this way. Let's see. 
I'm gonna be quiet because although this boat is down that many people, I think people are sleeping. Okay, so here you have another um, uh, vending machine, lovely. And then this is the women's bathroom. I'm gonna check. There is no one here. And then I'm gonna go back to you. Okay, so the bathroom is empty, so I'm gonna show you. Here we go. Wow, this is very, very clean. Not for drink, okay. Lovely, very clean. I don't think you have to touch it. No, just like that, lovely. And then here you have, you have somewhere where you can, you know, put your makeup on or do your hair or whatever. This is very clean, like, compared to other boats I've taken, this is lovely. Look at the bathroom, normal bathroom, normal toilet. Okay, this is very nice. Ah, you get your standard Korean slash Japanese bathroom. Privacy on, off, I don't know what that is. Cool. This is a very, very nice bathroom, very clean. I would give it a... 9.4 I don't think I'm being generous I think I'm being fair what do you think <laughs> right guys I decided I'm a little bit hungry and Bobby wants another highball so we're gonna order some stuff uh, we have one fried chicken this one? And um, highball. Oh, so alcohol set. Alcohol set. Yeah, Itchy. this and this. Highball. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's good. And um, is card okay? No card. No card. Ah. Oh. No, because it doesn't work. Ah, cash. Can I be with one? Oh, one. one, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. 100 yen okay. is 1,000. Okay. So it should be 14,000. Uh, okay. Cool. There's literally in business class about three other groups of people here. Yeah. And that's it. Ooh, getting a little bit wavy. Ooh. Right guys, fried chicken's ready. Let's go. It's gonna end in tears. It's a big wave. Just go with it, Bobby. <laughs> Are you worried about me or about the chicken? I'm here to rescue a chicken if it all goes. Should we go on the table? Okay. Good idea. Alright, guys. Fried chicken on a boat. Got a sneaking suspicion. This might have been in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not bad. It's got really good flavour to it. I can imagine that when this chicken was fresh, it was very good. Now, it's okay. When, when do you think it was fresh? A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> So they're playing a video about um, what will happen at the border and when the dog will sniff and tell you you're not allowed to bring like any food with you. And Roberta started pranging out because she's got cat treats. I think the dog is going to sniff it, then it's not going to like it. No, I think he is going to like it. He's going to want to eat it. You reckon? Probably. I'm going to throw it. I don't want any problems with Japan border control. Don't give in to the man, Roberta. Three years imprisonment. I reckon the food in Japan would be good in prison. So, do you reckon that the. I reckon Japanese prison food is better than English prison food. 100%. Do you reckon Japanese prison food is better than Italian prison food? Ooh, that's a fair fight. I reckon it definitely is because um, I think the Italian government hates prisoners. Like, I think they're less humane than the Japanese government.
guys, we've almost arrived. It looks like it's gonna be some pretty wet weather out there. So we're gonna go and get our coats on, get our bags ready, and get ready to disembark. That's a proper word. Right, that's it, guys. We're ready, we're leaving. Pretty sure it's down here. It does look a bit wet outside. That's okay, we are prepared. Arigato. Arigato. Oh, it's nice that um, it's completely sheltered. Yeah. Very nice. Very well organised. Really is. We had a little seat on the other chairs while we were waiting uh, to disembark, and uh, yeah, they are much com much more comfortable to be honest. So if you do end up going in that category and you get a choice, you want to choose uh, Type A seat. Type A is better than Type B. But. It was very comfortable nonetheless. It wasn't too, um, like, too bumpy either, the ride. There were a few moments, but got used to it quite quickly. And don't think anyone had any problems on board. I, uh, last year, I think it was, we went to Greece and we took a, a fast ferry from one island to another. Instead of being like four hours, it was like an hour and a half and basically about 75% of the boat was sick. It was so rough, honestly. It was absolute carnage. So ever since then, I'm always a little bit dubious about ferries, especially the fast ones. Uh, but no, this was good, really good. Arigato. I really wanna try and um, speak as much Japanese as we can over the next month or so that we're here. Yeah. This was the like most joyful custom I've ever been to. I know, it's so funny because the other day we were only saying that um, basically people who work on, what do you call it, immigration, yeah. and aren't allowed to smile and be nice to you. And they were so lovely to us. Yeah, they were proper cracking jokes and that. Yeah. Uh, arigato. So yeah, um, that was amazing. And I've never ever experienced that in any country in the world where they were like, he was like, my name is UK. I was like, what? And he goes, my name is UK. And I was like, oh, your name is my country. And then Bobby over here is like, turns around to her immigration office and goes, what's your name? And he was like, mm. And he gave it to her and he said, my name's Osako. And she goes, a bit like Osaka. And the other guy started cracking I up. I know. Yeah. I I'm mean, so happy. Then I got um, like a chat with one of the immigration and she was like, right, I have to ask you like, do you have any of this stuff? And I said, no. And she goes, how long are you going to be? I was like, I don't know, six weeks? And then she goes, where have you been so far since you left your own country? And I had to name the countries. Oh, uh, that must and have taken a while. Yeah, it was, it was seven countries. All right guys, so uh, the Japanese version of Uber, which is called Go, this one. Yeah, so uh, just use that. Sign up with my card details. It says it's gonna be here in about seven minutes. There we go. Spot on, shouldn't be long. A little bit wet here, but quite a nice temperature. It's quite warm, isn't it? Yeah, you said it was the last week of rainy season, That's right? That's the last week of rainy season, and now we're gonna get into summer. And really? It's gonna get hotter and hotter. Well, we've got here at a good time, man. Although apparently a lot of people are saying coming here in summer is actually madness and telling us not to do it. But pff, we were in Thailand, 40 degrees. We've been in Vietnam, 40 degrees. We can handle them, we can handle Japan, right? I'm sure we can. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's actually quite a nice temperature right now. It's kind of similar to the UK, right? A bit hotter, maybe. A little bit hotter, yeah. Still nice and cool. Yeah, so now we have to give him our number. Let's get the bags in the back. Can you chew up? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Arigato. And you see the door opened automatically. Yeah, it did. And I think I might have to show this number to the driver. Okay. Okay. You ready, Bobby? Our first cup in Japan. This guy is a bit of a legend, I can already tell. Yeah. We're going to go back to the hotel now. We're going to drop our stuff off. And then we're going to go and get something to eat. Sound good?
Arigato. Bye bye, Arigato. What a legend. Right, guys, here we are. The Richmond Hotel. So, first impressions of Japan. It is bright, it's well lit, and I'm super excited to be here. So look at this area over there, that looks really nice, yeah. doesn't it? Like a little chilled library area. Those yeah. sofas look super nice. They do, don't they? It's exactly the kind of sofa we want for our house. Very comfy, it? yeah. Yeah, we've experimented with sofas over the years and we decided we just want like really deep ones. But I'll shape I have it. to find somewhere to live first one day. Like, yeah, Agoda. Ah, okay. Shall I book here or? Mm, do. Just a moment, please. Okay, no problem. So it's up to her. If they want to match it, they can. If yeah. not, then we'll uh, book online. Book here? Yes. yes. You, you have to wait about two minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah, we used to buy sofas that like, basically I had this like really cool sofa. Um, it was like red leather and it looked really nice, but uh, ones like this are just so comfortable for like, just lying on, watching a movie. Yeah, this is what you want. What's that sign, Bobby? What's that say? Not sure. Yeah, it's a Anjuman Hotel. Oh, it's Anjuman Please, Henry, do not hit, do not eat here. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't say Henry, but it doesn't say not. It does say not to eat here. So uh, we show you the room, and we'll catch you up in a bit. There we go. Right, we're sorted, guys. We're going up to our room. Um, uh, oh, more. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so many things. Okay. <laughs> okay. Finished. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so there's no amenities in the room, so you can help yourself. Um, Bobby, if you hold this, let's do a little bag. Ah, ah yes. ah, okay. <laughs> so kind. Um, so nice. So yeah, so basically, uh, let's have a look what we want. First of all, drip bag coffee. We'll get two of those. Um, what's this? This is gonna be creamer. Yeah, so we've got some creamer, some coffee. Uh, we need just one stick. And then toothbrush? We don't need. We don't need, okay. Hairband? I don't need. What is this? It's a body towel. Oh, okay. I need this. Oh, perfect. Okay, a razor. I'm gonna have a little shave. That's for after shaving cream. So I'll get a couple of them and that's probably a shaving cream, yeah. So a couple of them. Let's get a couple of these. It's everything you can think of, guys, including a comb. Do you need a comb? Oh, I, I need a comb. Oh, Bobby needs a comb. Perfect. All right, I don't know what this is. This is like some sort of bath stuff and that is a tea bag. Oh. A couple of tea bags. Why not? A couple of tea bags and a couple more creamers. There we okay. go, guys. Right, we're sorted. Let's go. Let's go into this room. Got everything we need. Everything we could ever want. So yeah, that's really interesting. It's a really good way of doing it, actually, because it means that things aren't sort of like... Actually, it's quite interesting, because I think when they put things in your room, a lot of people don't touch them. But now, people take them and bring them up and probably don't use them. Interesting. Also, I guess people take them home as well, right? Yeah, they must have. Uh, right, so, fourth floor, 408, 409, here we go. Probably gonna do the honors. All right, guys, this is what 13,000 yen gets you. Which in is about 75,000? I think it's about 65, right? Okay. okay. We'll put it up on screen, 13,000 yen, guys, in Fukuoka. Here we go. Oh, this is lovely. So it's not as stuffy as the rooms have been in Korea. In Korea, you walk in, they're really stuffy. The AC isn't on. I think just the temperature's a bit lower here. Um, first impressions, there's this, which looks like fan speed, clean air, clean air humidifier. Is that just a humidifier? I think so, yeah. So there's a humidifier, air conditioning, the only air conditioning I see is the one that's built in. So let's have a look. Is that right? Ooh, oh, there we go. So it's 
So let's put it on 20 degrees and see what happens. Yeah, I think it's gonna come out of there, but it's a bit slow. Let's see what happens anyway. That looks like it. Oh, yeah, I hear it. It's kicking off. Yeah, so that's really good. That's like a proper air conditioning. I can't actually feel it though, can you? Yeah. Oh, you can, okay. All right, so air conditioning is like that, built in. I can't remember the name of that, but it has got a name. We've got a little desk here, which actually I've just noticed straight away, really clever little thing. Japanese are famous for this sort of stuff, but I'm pretty sure, oh, they fixed it somehow. But oh no, 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 haven't fixed it. They're just, I thought that's where it made it was fixed. It wasn't fixed, it's just to stop you from scratching the desk. It does seem to be a bit of plastic down there. And also it's not the cleanest down the side, but we'll allow it. What is that? Bobby's just found something. Serve light too. I think that's just oh, an just emergency torch, torch yeah. yeah. I think if you pull that bit off. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, oh there we go. Is it oh. like a UV light? Do you think it's a UV light? For like, oh my god, it is. Like if that's a UV light, uh, Celtic Mick is going to be well happy because <laughs> he actually requested that I buy a UV light on a pro previous video and I commented back and said um, ignorance is bliss <laughs> but Mick if you're watching this and um, as an absolute legend I expect you probably are um, is that a UV are light? Let's have a look. I'm just about to switch on then. Oh wait a minute Wait a minute, what's going on? All right, let's, how do, how do I? Oh, but wait a minute. Okay. I don't think it I is. I don't think it is. Ah, oh, sorry, Mick. The thing is, Mick, I want to get one, but at the same time, like, I don't want to know what's on my bed. Like, I've got, what are you going to do? You're going to go, you're going to travel. You're going to go into a hotel room. It's going to be absolutely covered. And then you're going to go to reception and be like, oh, please can I have a new hotel room? And when they say, no, it's clean. You like come and have a look at this, bring a UV light up. Anyway, I'm kind of glad it wasn't a UV light because I don't want to see it. Um, sorry, Mick. So, fridge down there, nothing in it. Okay, not a problem, we'll grab some water. Kettle, uh, glass and mug, and I like that, a little used, used tea bag tray. Very nice, it's so annoying when you have a tea bag and you don't know where to put it. We've got this, which looks like it's a multi-charger, pen, notepad, tissues, phone, mirror. This, guys, as soon as I walked into the room, I noticed that, and I was like, that is cool AF. Look at this. We've got some retro brown uh, pajamas. This, this is just, like, crazy. I've never seen that in my life, anywhere, like a hotel providing you with a pajama. I've travelled a lot. I've never seen pajamas. I mean... In Korea, we went to a gym the other day, did a day pass, and it wasn't like a fancy gym, far from it. Um, but we got there and he was like, first time? We were like, yeah. And he showed us and said, so here's your, your gym clothes. And we were like, what? And he said, yeah. And they had like a shelf with all the sizes, right down from like extra small up to like triple XL. Um, you had shorts and a top. So you go in, you grab your stuff, you go and get changed, so you put their clothes on, and then when you finish, you have a shower there, they provide you with a towel as well. Uh, like, not like a little towel, like, I mean, a proper, like, towel for drying yourself. And then, yeah, you put your own clothes back on, so when you leave, you're fresh as a daisy and you've had your workout. Really, really good idea. This, I love it, can't wait to get into that. Bed test. Oh, I'm always a bit scared doing the bed test, guys, because I've had some really firm ones in Asia, but this, that is, that is, that is almost, I would almost say it's perfect. Mm. It's a medium firm. Oh, that's very nice. It's good, isn't it? Oh my God, the pillows. Are the pillows hard? Yeah. Oh, I love a hard pillow. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, oh, they're like sandbags. I know, right? Oh. I feel like I could hurt someone. Well, please don't. Oh, hey. Um, nothing worse than a pillow that just collapses. True. Like, oh, it's so annoying. Um, down here, we've got a little stool there. Which I guess is for sitting down and putting your... What is that? So is that like a table? It's like a multi-function table, because there, you could like 
you could like it's the right height for me to like eat something but then you can flip it over maybe and then it's a different size table i don't know what's going on there but it's functional we've got a big tv there um bathroom so that door just so you know that feels like honestly like i could pull it off if i opened it too yeah. hard it feels like it's made of paper touch it Oh yeah. I've never felt anything like that. It looks like it's not real, like it's like from a film set. I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Like I reckon, literally, if I open that too hard, I'd rip it off. Right, the famous Japanese toilet, guys. So, here we go. Um, has it got auto flush? Mm, I think you have to Yeah, press. flush here. Okay. So it's not auto flush. So we've had really, really good Japanese toilets. Best one I've ever had. I probably said this to you guys before, but is was in uh, Philippines. Mm. That was the best one ever. Like you walk in, it just shoots open. Same as actually Bangkok in the hotel, the standard there. Anyway, it's pretty basic to be honest. Stop, clean your bum, clean your bum some more, flush, change the position of the bum cleaner, change the pressure of the bum cleaner. I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's a cheap hotel. I'm sure we'll find uh, more during our travels in Japan. This is really nice though. Feels high grade. It looks so like that has been polished. Not just clean, but polished. Right, this I like the look of. So it looks very heavy duty. You've got multiple places to go. Now it isn't the biggest. You do have a shower curtain, which I quite like. Let's crack it open, see what happens. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's go for background for a second. Go there. I'm giving that an 8.1. 8.1. It's not the most powerful, to be honest with you, but it's completely clear of any... Um, it is powerful. It's just not super powerful. That could have been like a high 7, but it managed to get into the 8s because it's got no lime scale on there. Interestingly, it's got a rubber top which means it, it prevents time scale build up. Who else is really interested in that? I am. <laughs> um, we've, got con we've got cosmetics, so we did have some stuff in the room. And a little hairdryer there, towels, beautiful. Guys, what more do you need? I'm happy as Larry. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this corner. What is it? This is mental. So, we've got Slippers. Nice. And not only have we got slippers, we've got a shoehorn, a shoe shine cloth, a brush. That's a press. Not just an iron, guys, which is hard to find in a hotel room these days. Normally you have to go to reception in cheap hotels, which is where we normally stay, and ask for an iron. But you've got a press. And then a fabric and air freshener. Lovely. And I think, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just empty. That's where the, the duvet comes from. Just the empty bag of a duvet. But yeah, really, really good. Lovely job. Right guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video. This is the first in our Japan series. We're planning on being here for a good month. So there's plenty more to come. Bobby, have you enjoyed the, uh, the journey over here? It was great. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, me too. Really, really good guys. We paid. A little bit extra for business class, but it really was worth it. I mean, I don't know what the standard class is like, to be honest, but business class was uh, a bit more. I think it was about 20 quid more, mm. something like that. 4,000 yen, 4,000 yen more. But we, we we had a really nice journey over, so I think it's probably worth it. Don't forget pick CA. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Quite comfortable, aren't they? Very nice. Very soft. Right, guys. It's time for bed.